I'm making this video today because of the recent disappearance of this young man over here, Max Mazel, on February 22nd at the Rochester Charlotte Pier. And I'm making this video because of the locations of his disappearance and three other tragedies in the Rochester, New York area. Um, the first one is five Fairport cheerleaders back in June 26 of 2007 that were killed in a tragic car crash. The two Webster, West Webster firemen who were ambushed on December 24th, 2012 in, in Webster, New York. Jeffrey Newland, who was murdered, and this is an, still an unsolved murder, in Fairport, New York, and this was October 21st, 2013. What I'm going to show you mainly is not so much the people involved in these tragedies, but the locations of these tragedies and how they are actually triangulated with each other. Picatrix explains not only how to create and in soul magical statues and talismans such as obelisks and statues of mercury as you'll see what I'm going to talk about but even speaks of whole cities constructed using the principles of astrological magic and I think Rochester New York is one of those cities connected to an ancient Egyptian obelisk which was brought to Manhattan but that Egyptian obelisk it was sent to New York and it was built for a monument to the sun god Amun-Ra is 3500 years old there's one in Central Park they brought another one to London another one to France and the sister to this one because they, they made these in pairs, is in the Vatican. This is where the numbers are going to come into play. That obelisk, as you can see, was 220 tons. 22. Pay attention to the number 22. Okay. And then it was turned out. Okay, that means it was turned up. It was actually, you know, on its side when it was delivered but it was turned up on January 22nd, 1881. 22 is the number that's going to be important when I show you what the triangulations are between these obelisks and those tragedies. 1881. Now watch this. This is the statue over Rochester, New York. The other thing that I'm going to talk about that these tragedies are triangulated to, and that was conceived in 1881, but you can see there's Mercury, and there, by the way, is Zephyr, because Mercury stands on Zephyr. The, and Zephyr, in Greek mythology, was the gentle wind of the west and the inner cedar between the world of the living and the underworld. This statue went into storage in 1951. So he was in storage, Mercury, from 1951 to 1973, and take note, that's 22 years. Okay. The other thing we're going to look at that's triangulated to these tragedies is the obelisk on Hill Cumorah, which was put there in 1935. But I want to show you the 22 connection to this. In history, you will find that Joseph Smith used to meet with the angel Moroni on the 22nd of September. First uh, thing I'm going to show you is the tragedy with the five Fairport cheerleaders. I'll show you that triangle right there. This is the obelisk on Hill Cumorah. This is the crash site. And this is St. John's Catholic Church, where two of the five um, girls had their funerals. And I'm going to show you that the distance from that obelisk to the crash site is 20.20 kilometers. 
Now in numerology there's no zeros and there's no decimal point so in numerology that's 22. We're gonna go to St. John's Church and from that obelisk St. John's Church is exactly 22 kilometers to the crash site 22.2 .2 kilometers and if you actually move this a little bit further up into the church which is still going to be in the church it's actually a distance of 22.22 kilometers from the crash site to St. John's Church where two of them had their funerals. Now Max Mazel went missing on 2-22-2015 so there's some matches in the numbers right there. But I want to show you something even more bizarre than that. Like we said from the obelisk to the crash site was 20.2 zero kilometers. Now we're going to go from the crash site to the other, the second tragedy, which was the ambush of the West Webster firemen from the crash site to William Spengler's house is 40.40 kilometers. Exactly double the distance. Twice the distance from the crash site to hear this tragedy to that as the obelisk to that crash site. It was 20.20 kilometers from the obelisk to the crash site, 40.40 kilometers from the crash site to William Spengler's house. In numerology, there's no zeros or decimal points or kilometers. It doesn't matter the nomenclature, it's the number that seems to matter. So if you take that out, you're left with 22. 44, keep those numbers in mind, 22 and 44. There's the triangle, the obelisk, the crash site, St. John's Church. Look at the line, it's almost a, in line with the church and up to Spangler's house, the site of the West Webster ambush. This here is Hill Camora. This is the obelisk. I'm going to put a distance marker there. And we are going to go to William Spengler's house. And from that obelisk to William Spengler's house, which is 22 miles. There's your 22 again. The date Max Mazel went missing, Sunday, February 22nd, is actually shares a date with... George Washington's birthday. George Washington was born February 22nd, 1732. George Washington has a monument named after him, the Washington Monument, which is not a true obelisk. It is an obelisk, but it's not a true Egyptian obelisk. The reason I want to point this out, because here we are with an obelisk, and as you can see in 48 American flags represented the then 48 states of the Union encircled the monument were raised those flags were raised on February 22nd 1922 remember the 2244 uh, marker on the obelisk on Hill Camorra and I'm going to go up to Port of Rochester I think it is which is, by the way, where Max Mazel went missing, 22.44 nautical miles. Max Mazel went missing in this parking lot right here. And when I think of nautical miles, I think of the age of Aquarius. Now, I'm calling Rochester the magic city, and in a magic city, these ports are portals. Max Mazel went missing in the port of Rochester. The Webster tragedy took place in Arondequoit Bay, the port of Arondequoit. The five Fairport girls are from Fairport, Fair Portal. Jeffrey Newland is also from Fairport or Fair Portal. So all of these have to do with a port 
or a portal. Now I'm going to send this back to Hill Kimura and I'm going to take you to the port of Sodus Bay, which is right here, which is east of Rochester. And I'm going to go to the channel and I'm going to go from that point right in the middle of the channel there in Sodus, the port of Sodus to Hill Kimura Obelisk and it's 22.44 miles. Let's go take a look at this Egyptian obelisk in Manhattan, 3,500 year old. There is a 3,500 year old Egyptian obelisk originally put in Heliopolis with, with its sister obelisk, which I'm pretty sure is the one at the Vatican. I, I, it was built for the sun god Amun Ra. I'm telling you, that thing has power. You think it's just some stone there? I don't think so. I think that thing has power you don't understand and neither do I. But we're going to take a look and see. Okay, we're going to put a distance marker there. Rochester, New York. And when I did this, I was really hoping I would not see the number 2244 anywhere near this location. That's the parking lot. That's Charlotte. That's where Max Mazel went missing. The cursor's on the Egyptian 3,500 year old obelisk. And I was hoping I wouldn't see the number 2244 anywhere near there. And what do I get? 220.44 nautical miles. In numerology, there's no zero. There's no decimal point. I got 2244 to the parking lot where he went missing. Mac Tell me the chances of nautical miles, which tells me age of Aquarius. So, when I was poking around here, I noticed something else. I noticed to the Pattonwood Bridge here, almost dead center to that Pattonwood Bridge, from the Ramsey's Obelisk, is 220.22 nautical miles. Again, no zero decimal point, and it's 2222. And there's something else about this bridge that caught my eye, especially when I realized it was that distance, almost directly to dead center. Um, and I'm going to show you this. And there to the right is a symbol for the age of Pisces. That symbol looks a lot like that damn bridge. Perfect triangulation of the age of Pisces and the age of Aquarius. I mean, look at that. That fits right in there. It's just a perfect representation of that damn bridge. Almost like the intersection of the age of Pisces to the age of Aquarius because I think the Egyptians and what what's going on there is more Aquarian age than Piscean age. Um, and the bridge from one to the other, just the symbology of that bridge. Okay, we've seen that 2222 number a couple times in the date Max Maisel went missing. The distance between the church and the crash site of the five Fairport girls. And now in this Egyptian obelisk to that bridge near where Max Maisel went missing. But there is another spot that's prevalent also in Irondequoit Port with the 2222. Now we're going to take a distance to the channel in Irondequoit. This is where the two West Webster firemen were killed. Here's the channel in Irondequoit, and the distance to that channel, which is man-made, made by man, 22.22. Three points make a line. The first point is on the 3,500-year-old Egyptian obelisk. It goes right through the Hill Camorra obelisk. And then where does it go? to Charlotte Pier. So you got a 3,500 year old Egyptian obelisk in a perfect alignment with the Mormon obelisk on Hill Cumorah to where Max Maisel went missing. 
I'm going to show you another symbol or statue in Rochester of Mercury. Mercury was also a Roman psychopomp that transported newly deceased souls to the underworld. I'm going to take you, like I said, to Mercury here in downtown Rochester, New York. And put a distance marker on Mercury. We're going to go to the field that Jeffrey Newland was shot in. And it was this field right here off Gulf Avenue. A couple hundred yards into that field is where he was found. And I'm going to show you the distance from Mercury. 11.22 kilometers now we're going to go up to the parking lot or right near the pier where Max Maisel went missing. And how far is that parking lot from the Mercury statue? 11.22 kilometers, the same distance from the Mercury statue that Jeffrey Newland was found in that field. I'm going to actually show you. Fairport High School and Fairport High School of course is is relevant because That's the school where the five cheerleaders graduated from the distance from again the obelisk on Hill Cumorah 11.22 miles Now I did change that to miles again. It's not the nomenclature. It's the number like I said Rochester I think is the magic city and if the whole city is built around some type of magic, you better believe the courthouse might have something to do with it. And this right here is the Monroe County Courthouse. This is the obelisk on Hill Camora to that spot, dead center of the Monroe County Courthouse here in Rochester, New York, the magic city. It is 22.11 miles. The reverse of the 1122 we've been seeing, but still the binary multiplier 11 to 22. And this over here is the War Memorial, which if you go to the corner of this War Memorial, it's exactly 22 miles from that obelisk. And I think the reason is, is because that obelisk, I think, is sucking human energy right out of these buildings, right out of these tragic sites. I look at the ancient history and these alignments, it seems to have something to do with collecting human energy. Two different stories told about this same land. Two different histories. Almost as if there were two Egypts. This ancient land has always partaken of a dual nature. Egypt as the keeper of secrets, the land of riddles, the birthplace of magic. Impossible to say that Egypt regarded the entire universe as, as an act of, a gigantic act of magic. Um, the transformation of consciousness into the material universe. The Magic City, and I'm sure there's a lot of them around the world. If you want to find out what else that Egyptian obelisk in Manhattan is in alignment with, our powered obelisk grid brings Saturn to Earth. And in this video, I talk about how that obelisk is connected to a deep sea obelisk in the South Pacific and to the obelisk at the Vatican and to the harp array in Exmouth, Australia.